Hey, welcome back to Smith's your YouTube channel, guys. Today we're in the home stretch of the 3.6 build. We've got it pretty much wired, but I haven't started it yet. Uh, I was going to start it, but then the cams finally came in. Uh, since the cams came in, before we even run this thing, we're gonna take it apart and we're gonna put the new cams in. So I went with the biggest spec'd out cams that Paul at KP Tuned has. These are the, the 203, so if you go on his site, I'll leave a link in the description. Nothing sponsored, don't think any of that. It's just uh, he's a good guy in the community and helps a ton of people. So one person can buy them. Because of this video, go ahead and buy them. It would be an R36 over in Belgium, I think these are made. So here you go. This is about as good as I can sum up what's going on. Here you go. Uh, you do with these specs as you want. All I know is it's almost a half inch of lift which should be rowdy uh, remember that intake and exhaust cams are different these are some big boys and i cannot wait to show you guys them when they're out of the car side by side so let's get to it Make sure you get the uh, chain tensioner out in the back and now everything is loose. Also, make sure you're on TVC. You gotta put a plate in. I only have a 24 valve plate, meaning like R32, 28, Mark IV stuff, and it'll slide in place. And then up here, you have little nubbies that you can put a big wrench on. So now we'll run these bolts out and try to get the adjusters out. Remember, you have to make sure that these links are 16 links apart from the timing gear. So you gotta make sure everything's in time. You know, you gotta make sure your idler is uh, in time as well. And you gotta make sure you're on time down there. So a lot of stuff to be aware of. So just take your time. Um, I have never put cams in a 3.6 before, so keep that in mind. 24 valve is 100% different because the timing chain stuff is totally different on this. So we need to get this cam bridge off. So there's four bolts behind it and one over there. To get to this bolt, I had to remove this idler out and then now the, uh, the fuel pump drive gear is over to the left. And then down here, this timing guide, I had to pull this lower bolt that way it'll slide out of the way. So you can see I have just, just enough clearance that this should slide off. Obviously try not to have this fall down, but you can only do so much. There we go. This timing chain will fall down, but you want to keep tension on it. That way the links and everything are going to match up. It's up there. It's all safe and we can start running the caps off. On the front of all these 24 valve cams, they all have these three slots. That's where the oil control rings are because um, where this VVT cam bridge is this is what controls your oil flow to your camshafts and that's what advance and retard of your cams these are what they look like you see down here they're just these little rings they're metal and they're really easy to break you can reuse them you can buy new ones but they're expensive so i'm just reusing them this is the third time i've put them on these cams or used them on the cams so come over here you just find the split and then kind of push them up with your fingernail or your fingers and then you get your fingernails Grab one side of it. And that's it. And then you just gotta do it six times to get them off and six times to put them back on. So I'll be doing this a while. They're all on. And I thought before I put the uh, cams away, we'd show you the difference. So you'll see they're uh, much taller and much wider. So taller is more lift and wider is more duration. That means the cam will stay open longer. 
So now we're ready to put them back in the car. I'm prepping everything to go back in the car. So the first thing to do is to basically douse everything in engine assembly lube, get it everywhere. Make sure you're using the right stuff. Make sure you're not using like some molly grease or something like that because that will uh, clog up your oil passages. Red line assembly lube's pretty good. It stays in place. That way when you first turn that motor over, you're not starting it dry. So that's the biggest thing. So I'm gonna put all that in there. And one other big note is whenever you're putting camshafts in, you should back the, uh, the engine back. So I went backwards about I'd say a quarter of a rotation. So where, say the timing mark was here, now I have it about there, about a quarter. I'm gonna set the cams in, get them all bolted down. If anything feels weird, stop. You don't have the directions in front of you. The easiest way to tell is the exhaust VVT doesn't move unless it has oil pressure. So it only moves that little bit. The intake one will move all over. So, see? So intake, exhaust, and then uh, your camshaft should be marked. We got all the cam stuff installed. Everything's aligned, everything's timed. Cam plate worked fine. Everything went off without a hitch. I'm, <laughs> I'm really happy, guys. I'm, I just cannot wait to hear these things rip, man. I get it all back together and then I'll end the video off, guys. It's all back together now, guys, so. I just gotta do a bunch of odds and ends. Probably won't film it. We're so close and uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm just really, really excited. I really wanna get this to the track. I wanna get racing. Uh, I wanna start snapping axes again. I wanna see what my limits are with this thing. Excited to see what everything's gonna bring. So if you guys like what you saw today, please give me a like, comment, subscribe and uh, share the videos if you can. And uh, I, I've been missing a lot of the, the racing action just simply because I don't have a car to race. This is it. I've put everything into this one. I've had a backlog of things, but we kept pushing. This car is pretty much ready to ride. Like uh, axles are in, uh, fuel tech's in, everything's in. I even filled it up with E85 last weekend. So we are there. It's, it's getting so close. I want you guys to, to just stick around hopefully you'll be as excited as i am uh the big race well the only race that's left honestly is um the vw nationals which is our favorite race of the year that's the one you see i usually do a, a decent video uh on so if you guys come out to that i do have some stickers so if you guys come to the vw nationals come by and get a sticker hopefully in the next video you guys will see this thing start up for the first time and i i cannot wait to hear those cams out of that four inch exhaust so, yeah. Guys, I'm just too excited. So, see you in the next one.